Hey what's up guys, welcome to another video. Today we have with us the Lumos Atom. This is a compact size projector with a native 1080p resolution and a built-in battery that's rated to last 2 hours making it very portable as well as some built-in apps such as Netflix and YouTube and also has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity. So in this video, we'll be taking an in-depth look into this new projector, talk about the good and bad parts about it, as well as answer some of the very common questions that I see in many of my other projector videos. A big thank you to Lumos for sending this projector to me for this review. If you guys are interested in picking this up for yourself, links will be in the descriptions below. So when you first open the box, you'll see the Lumos Atom. Now this, like I said, is a really compact projector that fits really nicely in my hands. You'll notice a lens cover at the front as well as some perforated covering all around it. On the top you'll find the touchpad with all the touch controls, but alternatively you can also use the remote that's included. Inside the accessory box you get the power cable, a HDMI cable, as well as a quick installation and user guide. Now my first impressions of this projector is that of course it's really small and compact. It weighs less than a kilogram and fits nicely into any backpack. This makes it really easy for you to bring it around and that's what it's kind of built for. This is a portable projector so you can bring it around with you, bring it outdoors and still enjoy all your movies and videos. Now the other thing that is built into this projector is of course the threaded screw hole at the bottom which allows you to mount it to any tripod. Now I would recommend using a mini tripod that's a lot more flexible but if you have the option of using a larger tripod that also works. Now my only criticism about this is that Lumos does not include the tripod with this projector and that's kind of weird because more often than not you're going to have to adjust the angle and the height of which your projector is aiming at. Now this adjustment is quite common in other projectors they either have adjustable feet or some form of adjustment to adjust the angle. By default, the Lumos projector has to sit flat on your table surface. You can't really adjust it by itself unless you have a tripod. And I would recommend using a mini tripod. It's a lot more flexible and easy to bring around. Now, taking a look at the design and the aesthetics of this projector, I think it looks amazing. I like the silver that they've gone with for the bottom rim, as well as the perforated cover all around, kind of disguising the speakers inside it. I think it just looks really amazing. The only criticism I have is the plastic lens cover that's in front, it feels a bit plasticky but that's sort of a cheaper alternative and a way to cut down costs and I don't really mind it too much. Now you might notice that the lens cover does obstruct the lens slightly, however this does not obstruct the projection in any way. However I did find that this was kind of a design flaw and I felt that it should have revealed the whole lens just in a more aesthetic way. Other than that it does have a few ports at the back, first of all you'll find the power button right at the top followed by a 3.5mm audio output so that allows you to connect your headphones to it or any speaker that uses a 35mm jack. There's also two USB ports, one with power and one without. The one without is useful for connecting wireless devices such as the remote or a mice or keyboard. And the USB with power is useful if you want to use the projector to charge something else. Now I wouldn't charge something else unless the projector is wired with the DC cable, uh, if not you're just going to drain the battery from the projector. Right below it you'll find the HDMI cable, this allows you to connect it to your laptops or computer to project whatever you want. Lastly a DC power input for you to connect the power cable to power up or charge this projector. So now that we've taken a look at the whole physique and the unboxing, let's talk about what this whole projector can do. Now first of all, Lumos has included two main built-in apps, which is the YouTube app and the Netflix app. Now this gives you a lot quicker access to these popular apps, so they can use it directly off the projector. For other apps, you can either download it through the Google Play Store or connect it to your laptop to project out anything you want. One of the great things about having Netflix built into the projector is that you can download the videos or movies that you want to watch, and store it inside the projector. Making this projector a very portable option for you to screen movies outdoors or at parties or anywhere that might not have a stable internet connection. However, there is a memory limitation to this projector and you can probably only download about 3 to 5 movies but that's more than enough if you want to do a portable movie screening. The rated 2 hour battery life of this projector is enough to get you through a movie, a soccer game or even a couple of episodes of your favourite drama. Now you shouldn't expect this projector to last more than that any longer and the capacity of the battery needs to be increased and thus increasing the price and the size of this projector, making it not so affordable and not so portable. 
So I guess Lumos did find a sweet spot in balancing the capacity of the battery with the size of the entire projector, making it still portable but usable for an entire movie screening. So as mentioned, there is also a HDMI input which means you can connect your computer up to this projector and project almost anything that you want. Now this is great for study sessions or PowerPoint presentations or even just watching things on a different platform that's available on your computer browser. Now the third and final way that you can use this projector is as a Bluetooth speaker. Now this brings me to a common question that I get asked about for these projectors which is how good is the audio quality? And I would say for this projector, it's decent but not great. If I had to compare it to something, I would say that it sounds more like a cheap portable speaker with not enough bass. It's good enough to get you through the movie but it's not something super impressive or something that really immerses you in the movie. The one way that you can improve your audio quality for your movie watching experience is to connect a Bluetooth wireless speaker. I connected my wireless speaker to this projector and it worked really well. There wasn't any lagging between the video and the audio and connecting it to the projector was pretty easy. So I would highly recommend using a portable speaker or some kind of external audio device if you want to enhance your movie watching experience. Now let's dive into one of the most common questions I get about the projectors which is how sharp is the image quality and there's a few things that you have to take into consideration. First of all, the environment that you're in. The darker your environment is, the more likely you're going to get a sharper and more vibrant image. So in my opinion, the Lumos projector is decently sharp and in focus. The colors are pretty vibrant and seems to be pretty spot on. Now in terms of the focus of the image, you do want to get the projector pretty squared on with the projection screen or surface. This prevents any difference in distance between the lens and the screen, giving it a more focused image. However, there are keystone adjustments that's available in the settings of this projector. You can either use the auto keystone adjustment which is pretty awesome. You simply move the projector in place and it auto corrects the keystone as well as auto focuses the image. But you can do this keystone manually as well if you want a more accurate adjustment. That being said, I would always recommend that you try to get your projector as squared on and directly in front of the projection screen as possible because adjusting the keystone doesn't actually shift the lens or the perspective of the image. It merely moves it digitally and that can leave some grey spots or blank projections up in the corner that some of you might find a bit annoying and irritating. Now another common question that I get is how wide can this projector project and this really depends on how far back your projector is. Now Lumos recommends a 1.5 meter to 9 meter distance from the projection screen that will give you kind of the optimal sharpness. But of course the further back you go, the wider your screen will be but it will also make the resolution look more blurry and less in focus. I found that a 2 to 3 meter distance for the projector is a very comfortable range for you to place it comfortably and get a very sharp and focused image. So in summary, I think this is a really cool projector from Lumos. It's one of the most portable and powerful projectors that I've seen on the market in Singapore that is at a somewhat affordable price. Of course, you can find cheaper and smaller projectors out there, but I think Lumos found a good balance of quality versus price versus size. A couple of my friends have already asked to borrow this projector either for a camping trip, a party or just using it at home. I think it's a really big hit with them because it's so small, portable and easy to use. That being said, you shouldn't take the 2 hour battery life for granted. It is a limited capacity that this projector can hold and as much as possible still plug this projector in and use it powered up from a power point. But that's all I have to say about the Lumos Atom projector. If you guys want to pick this up for yourself, I'll leave the product links in the descriptions below. You can also leave any questions that you have in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them. If not, like this video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.